Time limit is just five minutes. Uh, yes, After... sir. Oh. Yeah. Uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Start good sharing morning. the screen. Start. Yeah, yeah. I have shared the screen, sir. Uh, it will be coming. Oh. Sure, sure. Uh, good morning, everyone. One and all. Uh, myself, uh, Guru Raghavendra. I am from Energy Rauskela. And I'm going to present a paper on adapt to threshold background subtraction for detecting moving objects on under uh, Coming to mining industry, uh, once the minerals has been extracted, uh, they will be transferred from one, one, one place to other place using a conveyor belt. So nowadays, research, most researches has been implemented on finding the work quality and work size distribution and work separation based uh, on this conveyor belts. So in order to do this, this kind of analysis, image processing applications were used. So if, uh, in order to uh, image applications were used, where a camera was placed above the, ca above the conveyor belt and the images were captured and they were used to find out the optic, uh, object size or or, or or properties. And coming to our methodology here, uh, we are mainly mainly focusing on segmentation part. Segmentation is nothing but where the operation, uh, it takes an image and it, it results in number of objects present in that image. If you see the image over down there, we, we can see a road and they have many many cars moving over there. Not share the screen. Actually, we have shared the screen, ma'am. No, we are not giving a presentation here. One more time. Just stop and start again. Screen. Mm -hmm. uh, start sharing. You have to press the button. Uh, is it coming, sir? Now it is Hello? Coming. So it's yeah. coming? Coming, coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah continue, continue. Yes, sir. Uh, see, sir, I mean, this is the conveyor belt where the objects will be moving from one place to other place. Uh, and the thing is, uh, coming to segmentation part, the main seg the main uh, theme of this one is, uh, you can see the image over there, down there, where the road is there and the cars are moving. And our ma major part is to identify the cars. In that image, you can see the next image where it has been a white part in nothing but the moving cars. So in the same way, if you come to our project, we have to identify the objects that are moving on the conveyor belt. So that is the main project that we are dealing with. So for that method, we have been using a different methods over here. Uh, for identifying the moving objects, the mainly methods that are used are uh, background subtraction method, uh, frame difference method, as well as optical flow methods. And these, uh, this background separation method was mainly used when the camera is in a static motion. And the frame difference method is mainly used because it has this computation power. And whereas coming to this optical flow method, it was mainly used for where the, where the background is unknown. I mean, moving kind of situations. So now for our method, for our situation, we are going with a static camera model. So we'll be using background subtraction method as well as the frame difference method. So coming to background subtraction method. So in this background subtraction method, if you see, uh, if you consider that we have a video, video sequence. So in that video sequence, uh, we'll be considering the initial frame, initial frame as a background frame. And the rest of the frames, the rest of the coming frames will be subtracted from the background frame and the resultant will be subtract, will be, uh, you, will, be uh, uh, will be converted into binary image using a threshold value so that we can get a foreground image. So this is about the background image, background subtraction. And coming to uh, frame difference, in frame difference, what we do is instead of, instead of having a reference background image, so we will be simply subtracting the current frame image with the previous frame image. So if you, if you look at the if you look at the figure over here, if you consider the uh, 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 video sequence, and if you have a frame at time at time sequence t, so this time sequence t frame will be subtracted with the image with the frame at the time sequence t minus one, and the resulted image will be again converted into binary image using a threshold three different threshold value. And the main problem that we have observed using this background image and, and frame difference image was that. The background image was well uh, in, in, in subtracting the background, and, and but, but the thing is, it is it is subjected to a little bit noise. And whereas coming to uh, frame difference method, uh, it is it is a bit subtracted uh, affected with this noise as well as it, it contains the incomplete information of the moving objects. So in order to overcome these these problems, so we are combining these two methods using an AND operator. So if you look at this image over here, you can see that the upper part, the upper part is of is a method used for the background subtraction method. And if you see the lower part, this is used for the frame difference method. So we are combining these two methods using an AND operator so that the performance of this of this subtraction will be good. So after that, the major problem that we have observed was that uh, for these three methods, we have been using a predefined threshold value. 
uh, but the thing is uh, our material is of a multi colored so a predefined threshold value for a multi colored object will not be effective method so for we not to in order to resolve that problem so we are going with the adaptive background threshold method where the threshold value will be dynamically uh, uh, given by the ours method so if you look at this method the same method uh, the same figure over here the, the instead of the having a predefined threshold value here we are going with adaptive threshold value which is which is generated using a ours threshold value in the same way for uh, for frame difference also we are going with adaptive frame difference method where where the, the, the predefined threshold value is replaced with adaptive threshold value and the same thing and we are going with we are combining the both adaptive background subtraction method as well as here frame difference method using an outer and operator and come to results and discussions uh, we have set up a, 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 a conveyor belt in our laboratory scale and we have placed a camera over the conveyor belt and we have been captured the images at, at a resolution of 640 by 480 pixels and 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 for initial for initial uh, analysis we have uh, tried different threshold values and the threshold value that we have came across was 15 to 20 uh, so among 15 and 20 a uh, 15 threshold value gave a good results so we have taken 15 threshold value for the for the analysis of the uh, background subtraction method as well as the frame difference method so if you look at if you look uh, sorry if you look at the results over here uh, the, the first thing is uh, we have captured uh, four different videos of four different materials and we have uh, which is, this is the current frame captured and the ground is nothing but we have uh, manually subtracted the background so with the help of this this reference we will be analyzing the performance of the algorithms so this is the, this is the image that was extracted using the background subtraction model and this is the image that was extracted using a frame difference model and this was the image used for uh, use uh, after subtract after subtracting the both uh, background subtraction as well as frame difference method and this was uh, this was these three images were extracted using the uh, uh, adaptive threshold value which was extracted using the ours method so if you can see that when compared to the previous results uh, there there some some peculiar noise was um, uh, when where a uh, background was not clearly subtracted if, if you can clearly see that when we have used this adaptive threshold value uh, that uh, the background uh, was more clear when compared to the previous results and now when you see the when you see the comparison of the time taken for each and every algorithm and we have observed that the background subtraction method which was very simple in, in, in analysis so it is taken as 0.25 seconds for analyzing one image and if we come to the whole uh, the overall performance of the, all the methods and we have observed that adaptive background subtraction method have given a very good uh, results with 99.6% accuracy when we have compared these methods with the the ground truth method that we have manually subtracted and coming to conclusion uh, we, have, we have observed we have observed that adaptive adaptive background subtraction method gave a good accuracy of 99.6% when compared to previous methods and we have also observed that uh, the frame difference method and the background subtraction method was lacking in performance because because it was it was uh, identifying few background pixels as foreground pixels so because of this uh, the performance of these 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 models were degraded and these were the references we have followed thank you uh, if i have any queries uh, yes first you can stop sharing the screen Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, Om Prakash. Yeah. Om Prakash. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you have shown that your threshold background method is some uh, more uh, accurate than the other yeah. methods, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So you have done any real-time application for this? Any examples? Actually, actually, we have we have used this algorithm for the real-time applications where we have captured these videos uh, from.